Hello everybody, my name is Justin Gatsi. I am the owner and operator of the MMARoundtable.net. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. As I will honestly will be on this on the camera doing some videos you know quite often. You know, today or well, this whole entire week has been very packed with the MMA action. That's always great to have. But you know what? If you can't get too much of it, we like to, you know, take a break from it for like a couple of minutes. And you know what? We like to, you know, mix up our videos. You know, you get the full in-depth analysis. And then, you know, you get the fun side. And we get to, like, show off the, you know, the mixed martial arts stuff that we have collected in our personal collection, memorabilia-wise, autographs, DVD collections, and everything. But as you guys see down below in the description today, you guys will see... Um, me showing off my DVD collection or you know what my great my pickups for today is as I just came back in town from the Pac-12 championship game as Arizona State was just destroyed my Arizona State Sun Devils yes I do live in the desert of Arizona for actually it's really really cool today so you know what I just I didn't you know you know take the time out on a town check it out well, let's, let's see what's going down downtown went up, hit up a couple of stores and I found some UFC DVDs and I spent you know a, a whopping you know 20 bucks for all these DVDs very solid pricing so let's get into this you know it's about you know one two three four about five or six DVDs I have for you guys here so let's get started um, my first DVD I'm here to show you guys off is UFC Greatest Hits Rampage Jackson or UFC Rampage Greatest Hits. Um, it shows off a couple of his pride fights and it goes to his fight against Chief Keith Jardine. Then it goes to his fight against Forrest Griffin and then ultimately losing his light heavyweight title fight against that was also against Forrest Griffin. Oh no, he won it from Chuck Liddell and then lost it to Forrest Griffin. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it went. So you know, this is something I actually did have. I sold it to a friend, and I was like, you know, I needed the money for that for you know something in the future. But you know what? I, I sold it to him, and I was like, listen, I gotta get this DVD back. I I, mean, I like Rampage, just in a unique fighter. Glad that he's in Bellator. You know, he's not going to be turning to the UFC at all. Bellator's his final stop, but you know what? Bellator got a hell of a fighter. Rampage is back as he just recently just defeated Joey Beltran. Next up, we got a two-pack UFC 47 and UFC 48. You get Tito Ortiz versus Chuck Liddell, and then you also get Kimo versus uh, Ken Shamrock. I was a big fan of Tito Ortiz in his early days of the uh, of the UFC. I'm still am to this day. Um, honestly, Tito Ortiz, as a huge fan I am of yours, you just gotta retire, man. It's you know you're a great fighter. I know you probably saw it a little. I don't see you know competing for a title in the future. You know it's just better you know to open up a gym. That's just my personal feelings about it. But you know what? I'm still a big Tito Ortiz fan. In my in my top five of my greatest favorite of my favorite fighters, I had to pick this one up because of that of that fight against Chuck Liddell. Uh, Chuck Liddell had his number for the three fights that they had. As Tito was just never you know able to come out on top. Uh, Shamrock versus Kim. I'm not too familiar with that event. I'm new to watching UFC 48. Uh, I've seen UFC 47 before, but you know, it's always great to live, you know, that ultimate history. You know, that's something that's going to be on the site too, ultimate history. Um, that's we're going to be taking, you know, a, a trip down memory lane on the website. So make sure you guys check out the ultimate history section on our U on our website, the MMA roundtable.net. Uh, our next DVD, UFC 61, Bitter Rivals, Andre Arvlovsky, or well, World Series of Fighter, Fighter. Uh, you get Tim Sylvia as he was competing for the world heavyweight or for the world title, the heavyweight championship. I almost did the you know a little WWE plug in right there. Um, you also get you know the Tito Ortiz versus Ken Shamrock. You know another Tito Ortiz fight I really enjoyed as he finished Ken Ken Shamrock in the first round. Um, I already watched this and it's actually you know in the in the DVD player right now. Have it on pause. But, you know, I'm actually watching that fight right now. But, you know, I love this fight. I'm, I, I've seen it before. I had to pick it up again. Uh, the Tim Sylvia versus Andre Arlovsky, Pitbull Arlovsky. That battle is coming up on next after this after this fight. So, you know, love this event. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you guys pick it up. A lot of people had mixed reactions to it. But you know what? I'm a mixed martial arts fan. Every fight, every fight card is great. Uh, just the, the, the idea of just watching a fight, you know, up close. Even if you have to buy the DVD, it's always, you know, treat to watch. Next one is an event I've been really dying to get for a while now, and it features two guys that absolutely hate each other, and what bigger rival in 2013, 2012, none other than GSP versus Nate, D or Nate, Nate Diaz, Nick Diaz, you know, you gotta go back and watch the post-fight press conference, the pre-fight press conference, This, these two are just, you know, battling neck and neck, and we all know the hatred around these two fighters, you know, this is coming, this is GSP's second fight 
back after his ACL surgery. He defeated Carlos Khan at UFC 154. Now he's back in the groove. GSP is back. You know, is he is he retired? I don't know. You know, we may, we may never know for right now. But you know, we'll we'll, we'll get more information if he's going to come back or not. But got to go back and relive a classic GSP versus Nick Diaz. Uh, I also picked this one up for uh, Nick Ring versus Chris Camozzi. Johnny Hendricks versus Carlos Condit. As my camera needs to focus a little bit. Uh, Carlos Condit versus Johnny Hendricks fight of the night. No doubt about that. Um, I, I like Nick Ring a little bit. Chris Camozzi is also a great fighter. Decided to stop off at the Blockbuster. Always got to stop off at Blockbuster. Um, I actually was a little upset. Uh, I spent the majority of my money. Um, I got these four DVDs for about $15. And then I spent another 15 on these two DVDs. You know, I let them, went a little bit overboard. But you know what? It has to go to my collection. You know, everything's already paid off. Got everything going. So, for me... Have a little spending money off to the side. Got two USD DVDs from the Blockbuster, six ninety nine. I call it the Blockbuster, but got these two DVDs for six ninety nine each, fifteen dollars in total. Um, the first one, UFC eighty five Bedlam, which features what Matt Hughes versus Tiago Pitbull Alves. When's this guy gonna get back from the octagon? You know, I'm a huge Pitbull fan. A very glossy look to this one because you never really see, and you know, you're, we're so used to you know this kind of a cover. But this one has like a glossy form to it. I guess that's like a blockbuster exclusive, you could say. Uh, Bedlam, UFC 85. Uh, Michael Bisbee versus Jason Day. Marcus Davis versus Mike Swick. Nate Marquardt versus Tally's Ladies. Fabricio Verdun versus Brandon Vera. Jorge Rivera versus Martin Campman. Um, that pretty much sums it up for the you know the big the big event the big fights on this DVD. I uh, really got it for Tiago Alves versus Matt Hughes, and always a great classic to watch. Um, the great Matt Hughes. Next one up is UFC 86. We all know Quentin Rampage Jackson versus Forrest Griffin. Uh, Patrick Cote versus Ricardo Alameda. Joe Daddy Stevenson versus Gleason Tebow. Josh Koscheck versus Chris Lytle. Tyson Griffin versus Marcus Aurelio. Gabriel Gonzaga versus Marcus. Oh no. Gabriel Gonzaga, Gabriel Gonzaga versus Justin McCauley. Um, exclusive fights not seen on pay-per-view, um, but this was a very stacked card. Had to pick this one up. This is the, the, we were actually the only two DVDs that they had there for the UFC. But you know what? These two DVDs are the ones I've been really looking for as it really com uh, completes my the, the uh, from UFC 80 to, to 80 to 90. So I needed these two, and I got them. I was so lucky. I was like, what are the odds of that even happening? So there you go, guys. Those are my DVD picks up pick pickups for the day. Um, I really appreciate you guys checking out the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for checking out our old videos. Got a lot of hits on that one. Uh, make sure you guys keep on coming back to our channel for more UFC updates, MMA updates. What? Invicta tonight. World Series of Fighting tonight. UFC last night. The greatest heavyweight fight that we have seen in months and years. God, it was just a huge uh, MMA weekend. I want to hear your guys' you know, what do you guys think about the DVD pickups? You know, what do you think about this MMA week in general? I'm Joseph Gossi for the MMA Roundtable. Check out our website, the W, the W, www.themmaroundtable.net. There you guys go. All everything is down below in the description that you guys need to our website, my Twitter, the Facebook page. Keep interactive on the Facebook page, everybody. I'm Justin Gotzi, and I'll catch you guys next time.